hi guys and welcome back to my channel my name is tamara of tamara fashion style and i know it's a long time i didn't give you a video so today i have a special request video a long time now a lot of you asked me to show you how to draft a simple trouser my way so i will show you how to draft this trouser in this class i'm going to show you how to do it my way how to do it quick simple easy so that you guys can understand so we're gonna need some tools to do this trouser so let's get started into the tools that we're gonna need to do this trouser so i'll see you at my sewing table so let's get started and enjoy your day and i hope you guys enjoy this tutorial when i finish and i hope i could make it easy and quick for you guys now if you is the first time on my channel please share my channel subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any video from me so please share my tutorial so others could benefit just as how you benefiting as well so i'll see you soon and if you want to learn how to draft a trouser simple easy and quick well then stay tuned and let's get started hi guys so today in this um video i'm gonna show you how to draft a trouser right so the tools we're gonna need so the um, tools we're going to need to draft this trouser, right, we're going to need a pattern drafting book. Now, I have this pattern drafting book here. I have it a couple of years, as you guys can see. And this um, pattern drafting book that I have is for fashion designer, right, and it's from Helen Joseph Armstrong. Now, this is the first book I had from um, Helen, and um, this book is a bit... Um, too hard like for beginners because um it kind of it, it kind of really tough for beginners it, for, for beginners level i don't find beginners should get this book because it's kind of really tough for beginners this is like for people with more experience in pattern drafting right who understand certain um terminologies in this book and certain um things in this book now this is the book from um helen joseph armstrong this is the um which edition is this let me see this is the third edition of this um pattern drafting book now this book is a little tough for beginners so i want to advise some beginners for you guys to get this one right now i have the next one from the same Armstrong, Ellen um, Joseph Armstrong. This is a more beginner friendly. I like this one. I buy, I purchased this maybe about a month ago. Where um, I have this. So this is the same um, pattern. Making for fashion designer. And this is the fifth edition. Right? From the same. It's from, I must see if it's from she. Let me see. Yeah, it is from Helen Joseph Armstrong. So this is her book so i will be using this one to do the trouser pattern for you now this is a pattern a, a class that um a tutorial that long overdue so what i'll be using i'll be using the trouser i'll be drafting the trouser um pattern so the book have the same thing like the first one but it's a little bit more updated it's a little bit more easy to follow but you must know pattern drafting to follow along this book because if you don't know anything about pattern drafting it didn't make sense buying the book because you won't have a clue what pattern drafting is about so i know um pattern drafting because i did classes in pattern drafting i did fashion designer in um pattern drafting which i get my um fashion designer diploma so i have knowledge about the pattern drafting so i will use this book to do the pattern drafting so i'll follow along with this book so now i won't get into too much detail with this book um i will do a next tutorial on it to show you get a little more in depth with it so we're gonna need some tool to do this um pattern drafting here we're gonna need some tools to do now my table um kind of the plus big the, the, the large size table i had um the frame kind of go a little bit so i loose it down so that my um husband can fix it for me so right now i'm on my in my room which i'll be doing this to you so i spread all the um mat on the bed so that i won't damage my bed 
So I have the mat on the bed spread out, which um, belongs to the table. So we're gonna get into this drafting. So the things we're gonna need, we're gonna need some measurement to do this um, pattern drafting. We need our measurement. Now this um, trouser that I am doing here is for my son, right? Cause I just always have to make his trouser. So I'll be doing this for my son. So what we're gonna need, we're gonna need a long ruler. Now I have my metal frame ruler here, which is two inches. We're gonna need the pattern drafting book if you have any or you can just follow along. We're gonna need a curve ruler as well. Now I have this curve ruler that I'll be using this plastic one. We're gonna need something to mark. Now I have some markers here. Now for beginners, don't use marker. I'd advise you to use a pencil so you can get a, um, a good eraser that you can erase any marking. I will use in the marker where you guys can see. You're gonna need a paper scissors and you're gonna need some drafting paper which I have this whole roll here where I pick up from my local craft store I pick this up from so let's get started in doing this pattern drafting for the pants so let me just put this ruler in the back here put all these in the back here and let's get into drafting these pants all right so let me just move this thing aside here let me just move this and i'm gonna roll out my paper so i'm gonna roll out my paper I roll my paper out. now this is a classic that overdue a long time this is a classic that overdue a very long time for my subscribers i have to do this class a very long time right so this is what you're gonna need you're gonna need a far a roller arm the length of your pants you're gonna need that drafting people so the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna measure down from the length of the pants right the from the waist to the um to the ankle of the pants right so oh and you're gonna need a measuring tape as well so let me just get my measuring tape and let me just come back right so you're gonna need a measuring tape so you want to measure down from the waist right from the waist to however long you want your pants well my um son pants is 40 so i'm going to just measure out a line i'm gonna get my sharpie where you guys can see so i'm gonna measure out a line right i'm gonna measure out this line here by the way my paper is 36 inches wide you don't need all that paper so i'm gonna measure out here and i'm gonna measure that line across i don't know if you guys can see this line but i measure this line across this would act as the waistline right that would work as the waistline now what I'm going to do, I'm going to measure down the however long I want the pants. Now, his pants is 40, right? Now, the pants is 40. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to split this in half, right? Because I need the back and the front one time. So, I'm going to split this line in half. So, I'm going to measure this here, right? So, this here so is as i said my own is 36 inches so i've got to split this 18. so i'll split this in half 18 inches all right so i put a mark right here right there so this is gonna be my back or my front or my back one of the two right now i'm going to measure down the length of the pants that i need and i need 40 inches down so I need 40 inches down, so I'm going to measure down 40 inches, and I'll put a mark right here, right? I'll put a mark at the um, 40 inches right here, okay? So, let me just hold up the paper to show you guys how far down. 
because you might guys might can't see all right so 40 inches is where i stop right here from these people i put a mark 40 inches right here if you guys can see the mark here now i'm going to um connect this mark all right i'm gonna get my ruler and i'm going to draw a line right by this mark right here okay right here right here i'm going to connect this mark right here my table have some lines so i'm going to line. my mat have some lines sorry so i'm going to line up this line onto this mat and i'm going to draw in this marking right here so i'm going to line up it make sure you get the right let make sure you it, it, it in order because you don't want the pants one long and short so let me get make sure i measure the direct 40 down the other lane so from here i'm going to let me just push this back so from here i'm going to measure 40 from this line here and make sure all match up so measure down the length of your pants so i'm measuring down the length of my pants 40 measure down make sure you go to the other side and make sure you measure down so i'm gonna measure down 40 40 right so now we're gonna draw a line across from this line to this line all right let me just fix this Hold this up a little. Let me just fix this. Right, so we're gonna match this line up and we're gonna draw in this 40. Match them line together. Just make sure it match up properly. Let me get a right to the um, marker. So we're gonna mark these lines right here. So we mark these lines here. So my 40 is from the top of this line to the length that I need. All right, let me roll it up. Let me see the line. So you see, from the top of that line to this 40 line, I do it with a red so you guys can see. Now, what we need to do now, we need to so we split it in half here. We need to split this in half. The bottom in half as well. So we need to split it 18 inches. Because 18 and 18 is 36. Right? So we need to split this 18 inches. And what we need to do is draw a line from this marking here, the half, to the next marking in the top. So I'm going to look like that get my marking and i'm gonna draw a line all right to match up that one i'm going to show you when i finish i'm gonna draw the line to match that one up so we're drawing the line to match this one up here all right so this is our line we draw from here right down to the hem. So now, on that note, what we need, we need the waist measurement, right? Now the waist measurement going to act here. So you need the waist. This is the waist to the ankle, to the, the right to the ankle, which is the bottom of the pants. Then you're going to need from the waist to the crotch, right? Or to the hip. So if they, for, for my um, measurement, we got the, the um, hip measurement, right? The hip measurement, we have to get the hip measurement. So from the waist to the hip, we need to get that. So we need to get now from the waist to the hip. So the waist to the hip for my son is, is 8 inches. So the waist to the hip, I'm going to measure down 8 inches. So this is the hip, which is 8 inches. So from here, I'm going to put 
8 inches. You just made it across. So I'm going to put 8 inches. The back and the front half to match, okay? 8 inches. So make sure you do your measurement properly. So this will be the hip line. This will be the hip. So I'm going to draw a line across. Straight across. So you're going to split in two. Good. So this would be the hip measurement. So now we need to get the crotch measurement. Right? The length of the crotch. You, know, you need the length of the crotch. The reason why is because... That is the pants to stitch, so you can stitch, so you can get the, 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 the crotch to fit properly. So we need the crotch measurement, right? So we have to get the crotch measurement. So the crotch... So next, so next we're going to need is the crotch depth. Now the crotch depth, the most encourage you like, um, to sit on a chair. But if I do in a trouser, for me, it would be a different how I would take my um, crotch depth measurement. But for um, this trouser, we did, um, I sit on a chair and then I would get the measurement from the waist to the crotch, which is 10 inches in this part, in this section here. So, 10 inches here, right? So it's like, uh, from the hip measurement is like, two to three inches down from the hip measurement. All right, cause it's not no big, big difference. So from the waist to the hip, in this case, I will put this 10 inches. The reason why is because this person have no hip, this person have no butt, they ain't have nothing. They just flat, right? So in this case, I would make it 10 inches cause you don't want the trouser to be, the crotch to be too long. So I'd make it 10 inches. Or you can go down 3 inches from here. Right? You can go down 3 inches from here if you want. Now we'd let, okay, let's go down 3 inches from here. So in this case, this one is 10 inches. Right? 10 inches for the trousers. You can always take that up when, you, um, when you're ready. Right? So his one is 10 inches. But for you, you can go down like 3 inches from the hip measurement okay so for him let's go down three inches here so i add a next one after that so i put it 11. so three inches down from the hip three inches down and now we're gonna get our ruler and we're gonna connect this uh, these lines here we're gonna connect these lines you don't want the crotch to be big 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 I know sometimes you draw things some trousers when you look the crotch them big. And we connect this line. So this is the waist, hip, crotch. Now we need the ankle, the, the, the knee, right? We need the knee. Now to get the knee, what I do, I, I need, which around the knee is about 23 inches. Right? 23 inches. It depends on how tall is the person. Right? So the knee, 23 inches, some one would be 22, some it depends on how tall is the person. So I split this in half for getting knee, right? So from the waist to the knee is around 23 inches, okay? So you have to decide where you want your, your, your pants to fall. So normally the knee does be around 22, 23 inches. So from the waist to the knee will be 23 inches, right? So you measure from your waist to your knee. So it's like 23 inches. So you mark that. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. And we're gonna connect this line. We're gonna connect the knee line right now. So this is the knee. So this will act as the knee, right? And then you have 
the ankle. So we have the waist, the hip, the crotch, the knee, and the length of the pants. Alright? So now what we need to do here, so now, what we're going to do, we're going to get a hip, a hip measurement and put it on this line here. Alright? So we need the hip measurement. So let me see if I could follow this book because as you can see, I didn't really follow in the book. Alright? But let me see if anything changed. So we're going to um, work on the hip measurement. Right? We got to work on the hip measurement. Let me see this line. This line look kind of off. Let's see this line here. Let me see how much this measure from here. So let's get into the drafting of this part. So we have the waist, we have the hip, we have the crotch, we have the ankle, we have the um, knee, sorry, and then the bottom, we have the ankle. Right? So now, what we're going to do, we need the hip measurement for one, two, three. So what we're going to do, we need this hip measurement. Alright? So for the hip measurement, what we're going to do, remember, this pants coming, this side coming, the back of the pants coming back, this side here. Alright? The front of the pants going to go this side. But I don't know if we're going to get enough paper for the front here. But I just draw this line here. Or separate the back from the front but we don't know if we're gonna get the front from that so the first thing we're gonna draft we're gonna draft the back of the pants then we're gonna move on to the front of the pants so for the hip measurement what we're gonna do take like this 13 inches because we have to add that for that so let me make this 13 inches so i measure 13 inches here how much is your hip make it your hip so his hip is 11 but i make it 13 inches because we have to add um thing back into that right we have to add in weight name back to that we're gonna get it from there right so 13 and i'm making this here 13 as well so 13 13 right how much ever is you hip divided by four Whichever is your hip divided by four, right, and add quarter inch to it. Okay. So now, what we're gonna do? We're gonna draw a line in here. We're drawing a line in. So we're drawing in a line. Thirteen, thirteen. Right. We're drawing in the line here. So we draw a line here. Put. So next what we're gonna do so the waist the hip and the crotch is the same 13 measurement how much ever is your hip measurement your, your full circumference divided by four and add quarter inches and the measurement you left with add it on these three lines the waist the hip and the crotch right next what we're gonna do we're gonna measure in um three quarter inches from this line here from the waistline which is this line here we're gonna measure in three quarter inches from the top of the weight the line. So measuring three quarter inches, we're gonna measure in that three quarter inches. Okay, all right. So from that three quarter inches, they know what we're gonna do. We're gonna get a waist measurement plus two inches. So how much ever is your waist measurement? How much is your waist measurement? All right. Now, this waist measurement that I have here, let me see how much is this waist measurement. This waist measurement that I have is 40, right? It's 40 inches, right? Now, you're going to divide that by 4, right? Divide the waist measurement by 4. Plus, you're going to add 2 and a quarter inches. So, you're dividing it by 4. That will give me um 10, right? You divide the 40 by 4. Now, remember, it's your hip measurement you're dividing, not mine's, right? It's your own. You divide it by 4 plus you're adding 2 and a quarter inches. Okay? So that gives me 12 and a quarter inches. So, from this mark in the 3 quarter inches that I put that i put here from the 
the waist from the line here, I measure in three quarter inches here. Now from the three quarter inches here, I'm gonna get the waist measurement, right? I'm gonna get the waist measurement plus the um to one a quarter inch which is 12 and a quarter so from this bar from the three quarter inches which i'm going to mark name n so from n i will call the n from the three quarter inch i'm going to measure in 12 and a quarter inches so 12 and a quarter inches will land me right at this line here right so on this line here right here 12 and a quarter inches so that's the waist measurement, including the dart, right? So now we have to split the dart in half, okay? So now, each dart, right? Three inches, we mark in, right? So, from the three quarter inches, we mark in three inches, right? Three inches, we mark in it. So we mark in three inches from in, which the three quarter inches from the way from the first dot here of the waist. Remember, we measure out 13 inches and make this horizontal line here. So from this horizontal line, I measure in three quarter inches. So when I measure in the three quarter inches from the three quarter inches, I measure out the waist measurement, which is 12 and a quarter. And then from the three quarter inches, which I name N, go measure three inches in. Right, so I measure three inches in from the arm, three quarter inches. Right, three inches in. Three inches in, right? And then, from that three inches in now, what we're going to do, each dart, we're going to mark arm. Um, one and three quarter one and a quarter inches space right so for the first dart from here is one inches each for the intake so it's half inch on each side so half inch here and half inch here right on each side of that now from this darty we're gonna measure one and a quarter inches away from that dart, this for the dart intake. All right, so we measure one and a quarter inches. So this is the dart intake. So on each side now, you put half inch, half inch. All right. There's one inch. So we have our dart there. So now we're going to, um, so this is the dart. The space is one, it's three quarter, it's um, one and a quarter inches is the space between the two dart, right? So now for the dart, we're going to connect the dart, what we're going to measure down. The dart is four and a half inches. So the first dart, which is here, which is the middle, four and a half inches there's the first dart we measure down four and a half inches and then get our ruler that's what I get a plastic rule and we connect this line so this is the first dart here first dart and then we connect this dart line connect so you get your first dart here and then the second dart we're gonna come out we're gonna connect the second dart all right so we're gonna split this half inch half inch so this gonna be half inch so we're gonna split that four and a half inches down same second that and then we're gonna come out we're gonna mark our darting So we get our two dart for the pants. So this is our two dart for the pants, right? So the first dart is three inches in from this one here, right? Three inches in from N is the first dart. 
and then you put half inch on each side and then between the two dart is one and a quarter inch then you put one half inch on each side so you end up with your two dart okay now what we need to do now we're gonna measure out we're gonna split this line here which is the crotch line we're gonna measure this crotch line and see how much we get so we're measuring this crotch line so we get 13 all right so we need to divide 13 in two so 13 will come in two so there's six and a half right so six and a half six and a half is this line here so so we need half of this so we take so from this in line here we see we have this horizontal line here we measuring back right so my measuring tape we come in and we measuring back from this line to this outer line here so you rest your measuring tape down and we measure out so we divide in this 13 right remember the whole horizontal line we measure 13 from here to here 13 13 right so we got so from the inner line is here to the half we split in this vertical line this here from this to this we split in it in half right let me just mark some letter for you you guys can understand right so we have this here says h i'm gonna put this as h right i'm gonna put this as f right i'm gonna put this as g right i'm gonna put this up here as a so we have some name for this i'm gonna put this here as c and i'm gonna put this here as d right good so we got h we got f we got g so the h line going on the waistline the f line going on the hip line the f going on the hip line the g going on the crotch line the a going on the center of the waistline the c going on the center of the crotch line and the d going in the center no the d going the c going in the center of the hip line and the d going in the center of the crotch line let me repeat so we got H for the waist, F for the hip, G for the crotch, A for the center waist for dividing the back and the front, C for the crotch, the um, hip line dividing the back and the front um, hip line, D for the crotch dividing the back and the front crotch line, right? So from H we measuring three quarter inch and we name this N. So from N, you measure three inches out to get your first dart. And then on both sides, you put half inch, half inch. So from the first dart, you measure, in, you measure out one and a quarter inches or one and a half inches. And you get your second dart. And then on both sides, you put half inch, half inch. And you end up with your two dart. Right? Hope I make that clear for you. We want to measure up from N quarter inch. So the N here, we measuring up. Quarter inch. Remember, we go in three quarter inch from the end of the line from H. We go in three quarter inch before we get to that. So far, I name it N. So from N, we're gonna measure up quarter inch. So measure up quarter inch from N. Quarter inch is just a little mark. So we measure up quarter inch and we name the S. So we name it S. So I'll have a number. Right, so now what we're gonna do, we have to measure out from G, which we have G in the bottom, which is the crotch line. We're gonna remember we measure half of this line here, right? So from here to here is half of this line, which is 13. The full length of the line is 13, so we need half, which is six and a half. So six and a half gonna go on this line here, right? Which I don't have six and a half, right? which i could only get five right we using up our line so i gonna take the five and i gonna call it i so i measure how much ever you got because you using all that right so call it i so now we're gonna curve we're gonna from g we're gonna measure like a uh, diagonal line two inches so g the a which is the crotch line on the crotch line right we measuring two inches like a diagonal line here we put in a mark right 
here. Put a mark there. Alright? So you put this mark here, sir, and we call in the mark T. So that mark will be T. Alright? So from that line now, what we're gonna do then, what we're gonna do now, we're going to measure half of um half of the GD line which is coming up here. So we're gonna measure half of that. So this G to F, right? So we have to get half of H to F, right? Forget G to X. So from this line here from H to G, this is 11. Right? So I need half of that. So I'm going to split that in half. So measure down, whichever you get on the horizontal line. And you put that in half. So we put a mark in right here. So I measure from this top of the line by the waist to the crotch of the line. And I split it in half. Right? To the crotch of the line and I split it in half. And I call this X. So I call the X. So make sure you put letter or whatever letter you want to put. I put X. Right? So now that line now we're going to measure. We're going to... Um, Put in the crotch for that line. So from we're going to measure in from here, right? We gotta blend these lines in. You're gonna blend these lines in. That's why I tell you, you won't use all that line a day. Alright? So you're gonna get your ruler, your core rule, and you're gonna match from S, which is a quarter inch line we measure up, from S right out. Touching the X line where we mark, passing through to the horizontal two inches line where we mark two, and then we come and we mark this down here. All right. So that is our crotch line. Okay, that is our crotch. So we have the back of our pants here done situate there. Let me repeat, so you rest your ruler at the S, the trick, the cart, quarter inch line we put up. We bond the line touch X, which is the half of the H, G line from the waist to the crotch where we match and get, um, divide it in half and we put a X there. So we connect in from S to the crotch line to make our crotch, right? To make the circle for the crotch. Here. So this is coming quite down here, right? So this is the shape of the pants we're going to get, okay? So this is the shape of the pants, as you can see. Oh, it's curving, right? They have your curve. We're going to measure out from here to here. Here to here. So this is 16 inches, right? And we need half of that which is eight inches, eight inches, which is right here. So we need half of that. So we need half of that. Right down on all the lines, then we need half of that measurement. Half of that measurement, so you measure down the half. So you see how I pull my measuring tape? So we measuring down the half. to the bottom of the ankle we measuring down half and then we square in this line so we square in this line up square in this line so we square in this line here square in a line right up passing through the dark or at the side of the dark so we square that line up so this will divide the knee and so on that we're gonna draw in now right so we square up the line on the knee line what we need to do is measure half half so how much is the knee 
How much is your knee around your knee? Now measure around your knee. How much is around your knee? Right, so we do up to the hip here. Now we, we draw this line here, right? So this is our guideline. So we're going to separate the knee. So we go into the knee line. Now how much ever is right away around your knee, right? You measure around the fullest part of your knee. And you divide the measurement in four. Which um, I have one here around the knee is 17, right? Around this person knee is 17 and I divide that by four. I get four and a half, right? So four and a quarter, sorry. So on each side of this pants, right? I come in four and a quarter here. Four and a quarter, right? Four and a quarter, four and a quarter. On each side of the line, four and a quarter, four and a quarter. And then I put in a quarter inch ease. Quarter inch ease. Quarter inch ease. All right. So this is how you pants curving. Bam. Bam. Now, around your ankle, right? You got to get around your ankle now measurement. Okay? So measure around your ankle now, and then we're going to come and we're going to divide. So on each side, we put half, half, right? So now we're going to do the ankle now. So measure around your ankle, right? Measure around the ankle from the bottom of your heel, right? So this is the ankle line. So how much is the ankle, right? Now you have to divide the ankle the same way as we divide the knee, right? So I have an ankle here as 15 inches, right? Around the ankle is 15, and I will divide that by 4. So I get 3 and 3 quarter, right? So on each line, each side, from this guideline, remember we draw this guideline here, right? We draw this guideline here from the front here. We draw this guideline here. So we get, um, how much was my guideline? It was 8 inches from, 8 inches in. Your own could be more, your own could be less, right? Because remember we divide this line here. And we measure in, and I fold my measuring tape. And I end up with this line here, right? So from this line here, now this is the ankle. I need to divide the ankle in four. So I got 15 and I divide it in four. It's three and three quarter. So three and three quarter, but I'm going to make it four inches, right? On each side, I'm going to put four so you can get a little space to come in. So you foot two your pants. So four inches on each side. Good, right? Now I'm going to connect this line here, right? Now, so we have two rulers we can use. We can use this one, we can use this one. I prefer to use this one because I like this one. So we're going to pull this ruler like this. Like this section here. And we're going to curve that back of that pants. Alright? We're going to curve the back of the pants. So this would be the back of his pants. Alright? Then you're going to get your straight rule. And we're going to connect this pants here to this line here. All right? And we're gonna connect this pants. So you see what the pants look like? Now, we're gonna do the same thing for the front. We're gonna curve the front out this way. And make sure we get the right line. So it's four and a half plus quarter. So the front, Coming and curve the same way. Alright? We're gonna curve the front out. So you're curving the front like this. So this is the front. We're curving it. And we're gonna draw the straight line. Gonna draw the straight line. 
so this is what the back of the pants will look like so this is the back of your pants all right simple and easy so this is the trouser pants now we have to put some seam allowance on these pants now the seam allowance that i'll be using is like a half inch seam allowance you put around this pants you don't want the pants too big you don't want the pants too arm thing so i have my centimeter ruler which i'm going to use so i have this ruler here the centimeter ruler here which i'm gonna use you could put them at seam allowance you wish right i just put in a um centimeter seam allowance because which is the centimeter seam allowance gonna be half inch less than half inch but you can put half inch around your entire garment right i use in the centimeter i find it work you don't get in all this bulk in your fabric so i gonna put half inch three um the centimeter around my pants one centimeter right away wrong you can do half inch you can do five eighth of an inch if you wish it's up to you you put how much centimeter you could do how much um seam allowance you want to work with for me i don't work with much seam allowance because i don't want too much of fabric too much of bulk in my clothes so that's why i use one centimeter in my um garments then so you're gonna measure out and measure your seam allowance for your garments and then we're gonna mark this pants up up you then we're gonna mark this pants all right we're gonna mark up this pants here so what we need to do is curve this um pants with so now what we need to do is curve this from s so, oh, we need to give it a slight curve, right? We need to give it a slight curve in. So, we're gonna curve that. Immediate, I prefer to use this ruler here. I love this ruler. So, we're gonna curve this here. And this S to this, coming right back and curving that. Okay? So, our pan's gonna cut out this way we curve in it so we have our pants there right down okay so now we're gonna put a centimeter as well here around the waist okay so the stitch the waistband so you're gonna Put your centimeter and we're gonna put that same centimeter around here. This is for stitch your back. This is the back of the pants. We have to draw the front of the pants just now. Front of the pants is the same procedure. the centimeter same as here we're gonna dry in our centimeter same as here
make sure it's a centimeter you're doing or your half inch make sure you get the right measurement Got our pants here. All right, coming from here and joining that here. Now we're gonna cut that no the hemline so the hemline will be two centimeter we're gonna put the hemline two centimeter now we have a cater for surgeon and these things right so two centimeter the hemline will be So now before we connect that, we need to fold this up. Fold up this like this. Get on the hemline. We need to get it on the hemline. On the hemline. Wait on the hemline. And we're marking this down so that it could come through. And you will see why we do this. See why we do this because it have it have a slight slant all right so this thing comes straight it have a slight slant the line have a slant it in straight all right so two centimeters so this is our back So we cut in two. Put the name. There's my son pants. So now we need to cut out this pants here. Right? Now for cut this out, I go in on this line here. And I cut in this out. So I'm folding this back here like this. So I can cut this out properly. All right. Get your paper scissors, and we're gonna cut this line out. Cutting this out. The reason why we do this so that we can get the length of the pants, and we cut it out. So now cut your pants out now. have the back of your pants here so this is what the back of your pants look like so this is the back of the pants so we're gonna we'll have to dry in the front of the pants as well all right 
so that's the back of the pants the front and the back is C mallow right so this is the back of the pants so we're gonna draw the front of the pants so let's get into drafting the front of the pants so you're supposed to have something like this when you finish okay this is what it looks like so this is the darts them here this is the darts them right here the darts and this is the length of the pants this is what the pants will look like so uh, this is what your box supposed to look like so now let's go and draft the front of the pants <laughs> 